Well, that was dramatic. It's finally moving day. We have been stuck in this area of Nevada a little bit longer than anticipated or preferred for a couple of reasons. One, my new job, I needed to kind of get squared away with it and get started. Two, I renewed my trailer registration and I had to wait for the registration and the stickers to be mailed to the place where I rent a room, AKA my parents' house. And yes, they do actually charge me a rental fee each month that I have to pay. They have always taught me accountability and responsibility and continue to do so to this day. So I rent a room at my parents' house and part of my rent is my mom taking care of my mail and forwarding it to me. But between the state of Wisconsin getting the sticker to her house, and then her getting it to the post office and then the post office getting it to this post office took a while, but finally we have it. I have it on the trailer and we are ready to rock and roll a little bit more south. buddy or lady buddy So we've made it to beautiful Arizona. I know it's super cliche to winter in Arizona, but I don't feel masochistic enough to not be in warm weather. And I'm not a huge fan of humidity. And Arizona makes sense, especially since I'm getting into rock hounding. Within the first five minutes of me stepping out of the rig, I found these beautiful quartz crystals. So we're currently just at a really neat overnight spot here right off of Route 66 and we're headed somewhere in Arizona that I have never been before so I am very excited to travel and I am not ashamed of being a basic bitch and traveling to the pumpkin spice latte of nomadhood Arizona. <laughs> I completely get it. On YouTube, Arizona is so played out for nomads that winter there, but I can't help myself. It's just perfect weather. It's beautiful. There's rock hounding aplenty, and it's so easy to socially distance and camp far, far away from so many other people. So while I understand that it's kind of like the eye roll of the season, which is why I equate it to pumpkin spice, it is like pumpkin spice in that it's just so delicious. There's a reason that it's so popular. There's a reason that it's so amazing. So my beloved subscribers, I do promise to keep things lively and interesting like in the following. What 
are you doing? Yeah, I know, they're gonna be stubborn. They're like Gandalfing the road. So I just stood there and went, okay, sorry. And then drove on as soon as we could. I don't know what she wanted. It was very confusing. pushed us off the road. It was terrifying at times. A double long FedEx truck was driving like it was drunk. But can you guess what national forest we might be in? Even more fun, let's play a game of can you guess where in Arizona we are headed to? Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you got something out of it. Maybe some travel inspiration some ideas of preparing for the road in a cargo trailer conversion, entertainment, a passing of time. Regardless, if you did get something out of this video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and we will see you for the next one. Bye.